KingsflyerRCGroups.com with the new Spectrum DX6E transmitter. We're going to look at the physical adjustments of the transmitter before we get started with any programming. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the included tools here. We have a bind plug for the receiver and a small hex wrench. For adjusting the stick length. Now to adjust the stick length we're inserting the hex key pretty tight loosening the, the lock and then you can screw the the whole stick in or out to your desired length. Once you've got it where you want it retighten the hex nut. Same way with the other stick. Once it's loose you can set it to the length you desire and once it's set where you want it you can lock it back down. Alright that takes care of the stick lengths. Now I want to work on the stick tensions. Uh, Elevator aileron feels pretty good to me and rudder, but the throttle tension is way too loose. So the nice function of the DX6E is that you can tighten or loosen the stick tensions from the face of the transmitter without having to open the back or go in to the back of the transmitter. All those adjustments are available on the face. All you need is a small Phillips head screwdriver and using these outer holes on the sticks will adjust those tensions. The outer hole here is for the throttle tension. So I'm going to tighten that up, turning it clockwise and I can feel it starting to tighten up a bit. That's just about there. There we go. Alright, that's much better. Alright, that has gotten it nice and smooth and enough tension to where it's going to stay put where I leave it and it's not going to fall. So that's about the, the right tension on my throttle. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and engage the ratchet function uh, just to try that out. The ratchet function is on this inner hole closest to the stick position you can engage or disengage the ratchet. So to engage you turn the screw clockwise. There it is. I can barely feel it. It's just starting. There we have a very light ratchet. And a more aggressive ratchet. You can probably hear that. And then by the same token, I can disengage that ratchet by going counterclockwise until I get back to my smooth throttle function again. Very nice feature, accessible through the front of the transmitter this way. Don't have to take the back off or expose the electronics to, to get to those adjustments. Now, of course, this transmitter is in mode 2. Uh, if you were in mode 1, uh, or multi-rotor, you may need to adjust these over here, but it's by the same token, these outer ones are your tensions, and this inner one will engage the ratchet on this stick for mode one. Very nice features. That completes the physical setup of the new Spectrum DX6E transmitter. The review will continue on rcgroups.com.